What is up guys, back with another video. Today we're going to go over on an FPS fix specifically for Days of Infamy. So if you're having FPS problems, fear no more. You shall not have any more after this video. So as you can see, I'm getting around 80 FPS, maybe 60, average around 60. As well, basically, if I get anything higher than 60, then that's good. You know what I mean? It doesn't, and you know, because we need the we need we need the game to run stable, and that's all that you know. That's all we need it to do. It's just to make it run stable. So first off, what we need to do is that you need to go into the actual AMD settings, which I will go ahead and show you. Go into the AMD radon. Go to gaming. Go all the way down to Day of Infamy, and then set. The performance texturing quality or texture filtering quality to performance also with the AMD crossfire mode to default because it runs actually quite good on default and I don't think it would run any better if it was on anything else to be truthfully honest so but if you do find it working on a better setting say like I don't know something else than default mode then leave it in the comments for people for people to know and see if they can check it out and see whether or not it helps them out Anyways, now in the actual settings of the game, would is a little different. Okay, that guy had a stun. So the game settings, it's an MG42 up there. Actual settings that I set it to: 1080p borderless, field of view 90, scope detail very high, and I was still able to have a successful frame rate of higher than 60 FPS even with my AMD FX E250. I also increased the page pull memory available to high, the FX AA anti-aliasation to enable filtering mode to try linear. You can also try bilinear since that's obviously smaller. And while well, basically if none of those settings work, put everything to low and you know don't have it any higher than um, you know medium. Oh shit. Oh my god. This guy had an MG42. Ah, oh, you scared me. Anyways, guys. Obviously, the game runs quite well. I hope it really does well work, work well for you. Um, I made this video specifically for AMD. Um, I have plans to make videos for NVIDIA on FPS fixing, mainly because I'm not saying that, like, well, AMD's better than NVIDIA, that's not actually true, it's the other way around, but, <laughs> but, I think, uh, AMD, NVIDIA needs some love along the way. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video, hit me the like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the next.